In 2008, a new kind of space opened in Trinity College Dublin with the aim of igniting curiosity and discovery where science and art collide. Thanks to the support and participation of a passionate community, nine years and more than 40 exhibitions later, Science Gallery at Trinity College Dublin has welcomed over three million visitors through its doors. The idea of Science Gallery was pioneered at Trinity College Dublin and it's something we're immensely proud of. At Science Gallery we focus on engaging 15 to 25 year olds because we really feel that that's where we can have the most transformative impact. The Science Gallery has been an absolute leader in really thinking about how do you work with science and art taking, if you like, STEM to STEAM. We use broad themes like love, infection and music to bring together all sorts of people from different backgrounds. Our ever-changing programme of exhibitions, events, workshops and education programmes catalyses creativity and innovation. Everyone has a different view, everyone sees the world in a different way and for me to be able to see that and talk to them and learn about how they see things is just pure amazing. We go out to communities of artists, researchers and the public through an open call process, an active engagement that lets them set the agenda. So there's no difference in my mind between an artist and a scientist, we're all after the truth. Science Gallery Dublin's touring activity has reached over a million people worldwide. With the phenomenal success of Science Gallery at Trinity College Dublin, the Global Science Gallery Network has galleries and programmes in development in London, Venice, Bengaluru, Melbourne and Detroit. The Global Science Gallery Network is, I believe, the most ambitious public engagement project that there is in the world. I believe it's absolutely fantastic that we've been given the opportunity to establish a science gallery here in London at King's. As a fundamental believer in education equality and equity of access, I believe that it's through exposure to programmes such as those run by the Science Gallery that we can start to empower young people from disadvantaged, minority and underrepresented groups and ensure that they are able to progress. We live in the age of the casual miracle. We live at a time when things that would have been miraculous 40 years ago are mentioned in conversations passing in the corridor. What Science Gallery does for us, I think, is returns the miraculous to us in the age of the casual miracle. And that is an absolutely vital social function.